Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Kaylee and I are gonna go through 14 epic things to do along the Algarve coastline on Portugal. Oh man, we're so excited. This video is long overdue. This was one of our very favorite places in all of Portugal. So mm -hmm. we cannot wait to start sharing some of our favorite uh, spots yeah. with you. The Algarve is an incredible piece of coastline located along Portugal's south shore with several unique beaches, charming villages, fantastic restaurants, and legendary nightlife. This is one of the most popular areas in the country. Make sure to stay tuned until the end because you are not going to want to miss number one. For those of you who don't know us, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel and adventure blog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of videos on adventures, travel, and van life. So make sure to follow along, hit that subscribe button, and the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. So in terms of time frame, three to 10 days, really, it depends what you want to do. Mm -hmm. We spent six days surfing, beach hopping, just bumming around in our camper van, loving life. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Like the Agar is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could have spent weeks upon weeks hanging out there for sure. Number 14 on the list is Praia dos Estudantes. This beach is known for the bridge that goes across from a little island to like the main coastline drop off. And it is so cool. If you want to go directly underneath the bridge, you have to go at low tide. Yeah. When you go down, you have to go through a rock tunnel and then go to the right and then you'll find the bridge. If you're going along the coastline, I would highly recommend going sunset or sunrise and then also throughout the day, of course. But sunrise and sunset, everything lights up. The color is beautiful. It is so cool to uh, just check out. There's only 10 spots in the parking lot, so best to get there early. These spots do fill up reasonably quick yeah yeah this beach is really cool i probably it's not where you want to go like chill for a day on the beach yeah. but it is really cool to go see mm -hmm. number 13 on the list is praia da mareta and this is actually a white sand beach near segres and it is very popular for surfing so we went surfing here it's got great waves for beginner and intermediates mm -hmm. there is places you can rent surfboards right on the beach they have lessons things like that and then it's surrounded by red cliffs which is really cool too it's a really beautiful yeah. place huge parking lot yeah. lots of room to spread out it's perfect for beginners too so it doesn't go there there's lots of families there just a great place to hang out for the afternoon yeah there's people lounging around on the beach mm -hmm. too no shade though so just keep that in mind <laughs> lots of sunscreen <laughs> number 12 on our list is Praia Dona Ana so this beach is a long narrow stretch of beach that has really unique rock formations I mean the whole coastline kind of does but this one in specific has some really cool ones great place to go and hang out it doesn't get too busy and there's room to spread out and chill and relax and enjoy the sun yeah if you have a drone too this is a cool place mm -hmm. to slide the drone because it looks very yes. neat from the top down with the blue water and all the rocks sticking out yeah if you are looking into planning a trip to portugal the Azores, Madeira, we have developed a 58 page guide. It is packed full of a ton of useful information when it comes to planning this trip. It's useful for the planning process as well as when you're traveling there. Yeah, we have put so much effort into this guide. We've got all of our favorite places to go, all mm -hmm. of our favorite stops, how to avoid the crowds, how to get to more hidden places, secret mm -hmm. waterfalls, different caves, hidden beaches along the Algarve, different things like yeah. that. We have all of this in our guide. Foods to try. Yeah, basically everything that we loved about Portugal, we have put in this guide. It is an instant download and mm -hmm. we can't wait for you to check it out. Yeah, we've had a lot of positive feedback from people who have gone to Portugal traveled around, come back, like, your guide was awesome. So useful during our trip. So link in the description below and up in the corner here. Back to the list. Back to the list. Number 11 on the list is Segres. This 
is a town that feels a little bit more remote, a little bit more off the beaten path than a lot of other cities and towns in the Algarve. It's super unique because it is built on top of limestone cliffs and there's a historic fort as well there. So we really loved hanging around and taking photos off the cliff. That was really cool. They've got some really good beaches and we ate at a really good restaurant here. They had really good fresh fish. It was called, I think it's pronounced Baba Gwim, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll just link the trip advisor or whatever thing below. Next up is Praia dos Tre Irmãos, and it is a very unique beach as well. This beach has three rock formations that are known as the Three Brothers. So this is a great beach for exploring, maybe flying your drone again, and chilling, hanging out, lounging, enjoying. Yeah, also a really cool place to catch the sunset. Number nine on the list is Praia de Carvoero. This beach stands out to us as super charming. You can actually like feel the ambience of the town from on the beach, which is really cool. So a lot of people will stay in the town, hang out, and you can like bring a towel, bring some drinks, a book down to the beach. It's pretty secluded by cliffs on each side, and it is just a really cool, peaceful place to hang out for the day. Next up is a small little town that's only 30 minutes from the Spanish border, and it is called Tavira and it is very genuine, authentic Portuguese town. We had a lot of fun here. We ate at a fantastic restaurant. Yeah, yeah, we had probably some of the best food that we mm -hmm. had in Portugal at a place called Ti Maria Tapas. So if you go to this town, it's kind of like sleepy. There wasn't a lot of tourists yeah. there. It's yeah. a bit of a drive. Um, mm -hmm. but so so worth the detour yeah just felt super authentic a lot of people don't travel along the Algarve coast this far they tend to turn around before this point and we decided to go a little bit farther and it was well worth it definitely yeah you don't need too long here you can spend kind of like half a day just wandering the streets there's beach mm -hmm. there's different things but really I mean just go for the food the food there was so good mm -hmm. Okay, number seven on the list is Praia da Camilo. This is a very famous beach in Portugal. It's the beach with steps leading down to the ocean. I think there's about 200 stairs on the staircase mm -hmm. and it's super beautiful. We went here early. Yeah. Make sure to go early because these steps are a very popular photo spot for Instagram and social media and stuff. So we went early, we were the only ones. We had some time to chill and hang out and it's a really good thing we did. So do that. Yeah, pretty much good advice across the board for Portugal. If you want places to yourself, if you want photos, if you want things like that, go early because we notice like, I mean, we will get up at the crack of dawn to go take photos places mm -hmm. because we don't like crowds. We like to have time by ourselves, and mm -hmm. there things don't really get rolling until 10, 11 o'clock. Yeah. So if you care about that, like if you don't care about sitting in the crowds and whatever, that's totally fine. But if you want to go and have some quiet time, if you want time for photos, go early and you should be mm -hmm. pretty good in most places before 10. Yeah, a huge tip that we tell people is wake up early, go see the things that you want to see, and then crush a nap in the afternoon when it's way too hot in places like the Algarve, and then, you know, go back out for sunset, have dinner, enjoy, and then do it all again the next day. It's a good way to go. Number six on the list is Praia de Odsesh, and this is a huge beach that me and Kaylee had a lot of time to hang out at and enjoy. Definitely would recommend going to this one because it's beautiful and there was no one there yeah. when we were there which was a treat we were there in september october so maybe a little bit in the off season but it's kind of out of the way it's in the northwest corner of the algarve so it takes a little bit to get there like it's a little bit harder some bumpy roads that are kind of off the beaten path but definitely worthwhile if you want to check this one out yeah the roads are like you're driving through kind of like dirt roads and small towns mm -hmm. to get here but i mean we spent like hours here yeah. it was so beautiful and we had it all to ourselves i believe they're surfing and swimming and things like that yeah. there too. number five on the list is lagos this is probably the most popular city to stay at in the algarve it is awesome we've really really liked lagos and usually we're not really into staying in cities or towns a lot especially the most popular ones but this place was really really cool they had amazing food they had a lot of history the buildings yeah were incredible, like the cobblestone streets, a lot of authenticity. Yeah, a lot of culture. Yeah, which was very cool. And you're surrounded by dozens of beaches. Like if yeah. you are not renting a van or you're not renting a vehicle for your whole time in the Algarve. Great home base. Yeah, yeah. Lagos would be like the perfect place for you to stay. And yeah, I can't even think of how many good meals we had there right now, but 
just eat your way Ooh. go to the beach go to the restaurants it's great and the nightlife is apparently really good there too yeah. we were in bed by 9 p.m every night but because we wake up for sunrise it, that's right <laughs> <laughs> but if that's your thing if you party you can find it party. in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> number four on the list is ponte de piedadi this is a really cool lookout spot it's not technically a beach but it's right along the algarve coast and it's very popular we showed up here and there was like four tourist buses, and we were like oh no but <laughs> We went out, we enjoyed, you can kind of walk along the cl cliffs and there's a bunch of like cool trails that, and it just like drops off. It's pretty insane, but definitely a good spot to fly a drone. Actually, maybe I don't know, I can't remember if you're allowed to do that. Yeah, I'm sure you, I'm, we've been saying mm. <laughs> Look into that. There's also a Go. stairway there that goes down to the water, which is really right. cool. Yeah, stairway that goes down to the water. Spend some time here because it's super popular. Get here early, go late, sunrise, sunset. Again, like most of the Algarve. Yeah. but this is a must see spot for sure yeah we really enjoyed it something that's just coming into my mind right now i feel like we were having an issue because we went early but the tide was out i think it's prettier yeah. when the tide's in because when you go down those stairs you're surrounded by water whereas if the tide is out and you go down those stairs it's just kind of like right. empty rocks and stuff yeah. like that so that might be something worth looking into there's pros and cons to going early or when the tide's high Number three on the list is some secret hike in beaches by a place called Portimao. Now, I don't know how to explain this, how to get here, so we're going to put a pin in the description below because it's just <laughs> kind of hard to explain where you park. Yeah. We just, David found these on Google Maps. They are incredible. It's just kind of like hidden coves of a bunch of beaches along the coast. You can get to them on different hiking trails. These do require a hike, so just keep that in mind if this is somewhere you want to go. Mm -hmm. We parked in a big sand parking lot and then very uh, off the beaten path yeah. for sure yeah yeah like you and can find little up. coves with white sand beaches turquoise water all to yourself here don't go at high tide because you won't be able you'll probably get st stranded on the beaches but other than that it's a really really cool place to go yep. um we just spent a few hours hiking along and checking out different spots there is one beach that is a specific nudist beach and i can't remember the name of it right there's now. a few of these <laughs> sporadic ones along the algarve so be yeah. aware when you uh arrive yeah so whether i don't know if it's something you're into if it's something you're not into just something to keep in mind that that's there <laughs> if you want to get a beach all to yourself this is the way to do it definitely sure. yeah so we will put the pin below for kind of um the starting point and then there's like five or six different yeah. beaches within a kilometer or so that you can hike to before we hit number one on the spot number two is praia da marina and this is a really really busy beach when we got here we walked down and we were like oh my god there's people everywhere so what we did is we went at low tide and we explored all the way down the beach and kept going and we found some really cool spots there wasn't very many people this wasn't like a place that you'd be like lounging in the sun because there were so many rock formations we were like crawling and exploring and finding arches and it was really cool so if you want to spend like a couple of hours exploring along the coastline this is a great beach to do that at and you'll find some really cool stuff there yes yeah the arches were really cool mm -hmm. some tips bring water shoes if you have them i'm pretty yes. sure we were like oh we wish we had water yes. shoes if yeah. you want to explore the arches if you want it there is like the white sand part that you can lay on it's beautiful yeah. it's yeah it's beautiful but again we were kind of like oh my god so many people but yeah if you want to explore it's so cool bring water yeah. shoes and don't go at high tide because you'll get trapped out on the rocks okay yeah. You don't necessarily have to go at low tide, just don't go at high tide. <laughs> okay, who's ready for number one? This is number one on a lot of our lists of things in Portugal because we had such a cool experience here. Number one on the list is the Benigil, Benigil Cave. Cave. <laughs> this is such a cool place, guys. If you yeah. have Googled pictures of Portugal at all, I'm sure you've seen pictures of this beautiful cave. Yeah. It is only accessible by sea. You can't get there by any other way and we had it to ourselves for two hours yeah and if you want that experience we have it in our guide which you should check out and we also have a dedicated youtube video just for this that we'll link to so check those out and enjoy because it is a stunning unique incredible spot in portugal yeah it's really unlike anywhere we've ever been like we you can either go by kayak you can go by boat we went by paddleboard which was quite an experience on its own it's not that far away from um the beach that you leave mm -hmm. from and yeah just like the sun coming in through the roof and through the cave what would you call it? i don't through know through the walls through, through the, the walls, walls. Yeah. and the roof yeah yeah 
such such a cool place such a cool place anyways we don't have time to blabber on about it anymore in this youtube video but check out our other ones because we love this place yeah. so much yeah having trouble soaking it all up it's so pretty like i'm just i can't believe that we are here all by ourselves for so long if you do not want to attempt going here by yourself you can also book a tour there's tons of tours that go here every day but there's hundreds of people in the cave during tour hours so Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out our Portugal travel guide if you haven't already. And also our other videos on Portugal because they're all pretty useful. Definitely, we mm -hmm. hope you have a really good trip and we will see you in the next one. See you next week.